Good afternoon and welcome back to another edition of Rusty Dreams Garage. Today we're going to do a manual glow plug conversion on Big Red here. See if we can't get this thing wrapped up. Stay tuned. I've kind of half started the conversion already. I need a Ford starter solenoid. Mount it up here and I'll normally there's a plug that hooks onto that. But on these six twos, you take this orange wire. A long time ago, I did that. The green wires go into the glow plugs. But this is going to go on to this right here. Okay. You have a battery cable going on to here, a ground wire, and then a wire into the cab onto the switch. So let's start getting all that worked out. All right, kind of, I'd already started this a little bit. This orange wire on these six twos connects in to that green wire where I've got, it, <clears throat> where I've got the terminal at. And the green wires are actually for the glow plugs. And then what you use is a Ford starter solenoid. Of course you'll have a wire coming from your battery then you have a ground these this is one wire it's going to be cut that goes to a switch to the cab yeah these are going there one other wire goes over here and when you flip the switch it'll contact it and that's really all there is to it i'll tell you i'm gonna get it wired up and then we'll, we'll take a look at what we got here all right, so essentially you have your battery. You got a hot wire here coming to your battery. You have one part of the switch leg and it comes up here to the other part of the switch. And then you have your wire going to your glow plugs. Then this particular solenoid needs grounded. So when it's grounded, it draws current to the glow plug relay. Now what happens is that since this switch wire isn't cut yet with the switch in it, that's why it's connecting. So if I were to unplug this and put the actual switch on it, this gets permanently attached. And then when you connect the switch, it completes the circuit to connect these two together. So if you take that off, yeah, it doesn't do anything. But when you plug it back in, it draws power across it. So, just needing to make it permanent, but that's all you do. So I'm just going to use a 20 amp momentary switch. Basically like a starter switch. That way there's no chance of it ever staying on. You have to, have to hold it down. Use a couple of rings. And get it wired up. All right, switch is wired up. I'll mount it. Not really sure. I'm thinking about this. The little bracket right here. I don't know, maybe I'm just drilling through that. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Right now, it's wired up. All right, I got the switch. Hit the switch. You can hear it doing its thing out there. Next thing is just to wire up the glue plug light. So this small orange wire that I've got tied into the glow plug circuit is going to be for the glow plug light. Let's go check it out. So it comes in here and I've just got it wired to a switch. Of course, it's just temporarily grounded. But then when I hit my button, nothing happens because it's not powered. Okay, I got the wire hooked back up. Now when I hit my button, glow plug light comes back on. And that's how you know your circuit's working. All right, well that's gonna do it for this one. Pretty simple, it's not a lot to do. Thanks for sticking around. Give a like, give a comment. Let me know what you think. See you next time.